Montreal, how y'all doing? It's good, it's good. I like this, man. This is a good comedy festival. I like music festivals more. I, I go to Coachella every year. It's kind of like this, but with more Molly. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but I feel, I'm 30, I, went, I was 31 when I went to Coachella this year, and I felt like the old guy there, and I was uncomfortable talking to people, right? Like, I don't know anybody's age. I was kind of like weirded out. And my boy comes up to me and goes, hey, man, if you don't know anybody's age, ask them if they remember 9-11. <laughs> I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, because if they remember 9-11, they're old enough to drink. You're not being a creep. You can have a conversation with them. It's perfectly fine. And I'm like, that's actually really good advice. <laughs> Except for, like, this isn't the face. <laughs> <laughs> of a guy who can just go up to some chick in a crowded area and be like, hey, do you remember 9-11? Like that's... <laughs> she'd be terrified, you know? She'd, she'd probably never forget. Okay, let's... <laughs> I get it, I look a little weird. I'm blonde, that throws people off. It upsets people. I started, going, I started dyeing my hair blonde after COVID though. Do you know how dope it was to be blonde during COVID? I was just walking around like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, I'm white. Muslim, run away. It was great. Just, <laughs> ah, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Blend it in. It felt good. I don't know, man. Weird stuff happens to me. It makes me self-conscious. I was doing a show a little while ago. I was hanging outside the comedy club, smoking, minding my own business. This drunk guy walks up to me and goes, are you Uber? I don't even have a car with me. I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, no, sir, I'm a person. What are you talking about? He was like, I have money. I'm like, well, hop on my back. Where are we going? Let's figure this out together. <laughs> Here's a headphone. I choose the music. Okay. <laughs> it's more like a lift. I know, whatever. Let's move on. <laughs> Heads up, I'm going to talk a lot about race in my act. So it makes people uncomfortable. I get it. It's a weird time for race, right? It's like everything's racist. Nothing's racist. People are picking sides and stuff. Like growing up, a whole bunch of kids in my neighborhood, they got red spray paint, and they spray painted all over my famous garage that said, fuck you, raghead, and a six and a nine. And my family's like, oh my God, this is a terrible neighborhood. These kids are racist. We have to move. Uh, what my family didn't know was, was that raghead69 was my Xbox username? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Just really good at Call of Duty. I don't tell you guys, uh, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. <laughs> I'm surprised I did that, though. These are kids I grew up with, you know, kids in my neighborhood. Why would White Power 420 do that to me? I didn't expect that. <laughs> we were in the same clan. Okay, let's move on. This is fun, man. There's a lot of young people. Make some noise if you're Gen Z. 97 and up, make some noise. Cool. Wow, okay, that's surprising. Are you, uh, are you depressed? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I know two things about Gen Z. Let me know if this is accurate of your peers, right? One, they're depressed, we've established that. Two, they hate the government. A little bit, that's more of an American thing. But <laughs> they do, right, all of them. They're, they're suicidal and they hate America. And I'm like, you know what? This is the perfect generation to introduce them to Islam. Do you know something like that? <laughs> oh, how we doing? You okay, a little bit. All right. Uh. Relax. Calm down. I, I'm not trying to convert anybody to the one true religion. You're safe. Don't worry. Okay. Unless you're interested, talk to me after the show. We have a great life insurance policy. It is wonderful to die for. I do like Gen Z though. My little cousin, he's like 18 or 19. I'm trying to relate to him more. So I talk to him about dating. I say, hey bro, you dating anybody? He goes, nope, never had a girlfriend. I'm like, why not, buddy? He goes, well, I go to a predominantly white school and I'm the only brown kid there. And because of European beauty standards, because my skin is darker, my hair is wavy, none of the girls are really into me. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, buddy. He goes, yeah, but the good news is I'm going to a super diverse college next year with a lot of brown people. And I'm like, that is awesome. You are gonna find out that you're just ugly. It has nothing to do. 
with beauty standards, come on, guy. Like star lifting weights or grow beard. Those are your options. I chose beard, weights are heavy. Fuck that shit, I'm not doing it. I do make a lot of jokes about being Muslim and Middle Eastern, you know. I, uh, my family's originally from Afghanistan. That uh, bums a lot of people out. And <laughs> yeah, sorry to damper the mood. But like, a lot of people ask me, like, Dawood, what's it like to live in America and be from Afghanistan? Like, it's a very unique feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's a very unique feeling to live in a country that used to bomb the country you're from, right? <laughs> it's very unique, only Afghans know what it's like, you know? And people from like Iraq and Syria, but like nobody else knows, you know? <laughs> And like Pakistan and pa Palestine, but like nobody else. And like Libya and, you know, Sudan and Somalia and Korea, Vietnam. There's like 50 more countries. I don't have time to say all of them. <laughs> I should wrap up there because that's like a really good point. But I'm gonna do one more. Do you guys want something silly or something messed up? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I've been learning a lot of different things. Uh, I learned this the other day. I found out that women cops shoot significantly less people than their male counterparts. That's fucking crazy, right? That they think they deserve to get paid the same like that. <laughs> <laughs> they should get paid more. They should get paid more. Let me finish the joke. Relax. Calm down. I'm not a misogynist. I know that joke is terrible. You know, I consider myself a feminist, if anything. I don't have a joke for this part. I just don't think I'm a bad person before I leave. <laughs> Since COVID, all my stimulus checks were actually donated to foundations that helped women. So, thank you, yeah. It's called OnlyFans. It's pretty dope, you guys should check it out. Thank you guys so much, my name's Dawood. Shabba push.